and welcome to the quarterfinal quiz show of the James and Son FPL Draft Cup. 30 managers started in this competition, only 8 of them remain. In this round, our finalists will be competing against each other to determine who they will play in the quarterfinals. Let's go and meet our contestants now! Contestant number one is Luke, the manager of United. Currently battling it out at the top of the Ross Barkley's Premier League, he is also a former cup champion back in 2020. Contestant number two is Simon, the manager of the Mighty Psyducks. Winner of the Ross Barkley's Premier League in the 21-22 season, this quarterfinal marks the furthest he has ever taken his team in the cup. Contestant number three is Rick. His team this season is come on just Matip. They are currently in playoff position in the Kybet Championship and this will be his second quarterfinal quiz. Contestant number four is Jared, manager of the High Ground Madrid. This cheeky fucker is the reason I'm not in the quarterfinal this year. His team is currently in the relegation zone of the Kybet Championship. Someone please knock this guy out of the cup. The final four contestants are all managers of our new division established this year. The Benarama Conference League. Contestant number five is Harps, manager of Dunkin' Donuts. They have been top of the new league all season and will be looking to add the cup to their seemingly perfect debut. Contestant number six is Jet. He creatively named his team Jet's Champs, but we are yet to be convinced of that. By the looks of the Conference League table, this cup might be his only chance not to become Jet's Champs. Contestant number seven is Dan, manager of Rodri Uplonka. Currently his team sit in playoff position in the Benarama Conference League. He is yet another newcomer looking for glory in their debut season. And our last contestant is Vlad of the Big Bats. His team are lucky there's no relegation zone in the Conference League as they currently sit in 8th place. But here we find him in the quarterfinal round and he is equally as confused as we are as to how he got here. Now we all know who our finalists are, it's time to explain how the quiz will work. The quiz will be made up of 10 questions, 7 of which will be multiple choice. Each manager has the option to use two 50-50 lifelines, however using that lifeline will only allow them to score half a point in that question. The highest scoring manager at the end of the quiz will go up against the manager who scores the least. This process will continue until we have all four quarterfinals. Contestants, ready? Because now it's time to start the quiz. Question 1. We ask this question every year. Who scored the first goal of this Premier League season? Was it A. Watkins, B. Haaland, C. Solanke, or D. Ward Prowse? Oh, who was the first game of the season? <laughs> Solanke? A. Watkins. I can't remember who played first. Solanke? I know because I'm thinking Burnley when obviously the Burnley fucked himself up. Yeah, it was like Man City. But I can't remember now if Haaland played. Obviously he did, but I don't think he did much. So maybe not Haaland. I will go with Watkins because they're in form. I don't Haaland. Mm. Oh, it was it was Man City. It was Haaland. I think City were playing that first game. I'm going to go Haaland. I was worried you wouldn't ask this question because we've done this every year. So I actually looked it up and I know it's Haaland for Man City. The answer was of course B, Haaland from Man City. Getting that right, Luke, Simon, Rick and Jared. No! no! Question number two. What percentage of the 22-23 season were Arsenal top of the league before losing out to Man City? Was it A, 84%, B, 94%, C, 69% or D, nice. 91%? They're so close to each other. Uh, I'm gonna go D, 91%. Go with 91. I'll go 69. <laughs> no, but it's some logic behind it because we, we were up and not that much, and obviously like, we were up until like just before February, like end of end of Jan, and that's that's like and that's almost 50% or closest. I'm gonna go 69, right? Surely it was, it was long, but it wasn't that long, was it? That's what she said. <laughs> That's the only one that literally stuck out to me straight away. See, this is the thing, like, I know that they were in first for the good majority. I'm just gonna go for the meme answer and say 69%. They choked right at the end. I'm gonna say 84. A. It's A, because I've heard that so many times. The answer was A, 84%. Three of you got that one, right? Simon takes an early lead. Jet and Dan both add themselves to the scoreboard. Oh! 
<laughs> Who is the only footballer to have won the World Cup, the Euros, the Premier League, La Liga, the FA Cup, the Champions League, the Europa League, the UEFA Super Cup and the Club World Cup in their career? Is it A. Fernando Torres? Is it B. Pedro? Is it C. Victor Valdez? Or is it D. Juan Mata? I think it's Torres. Uh, yeah, I'll do a live one actually. I'm gonna go it's Torres, I'm gonna back my boy. I'm just trying to think of the eras. I wanna go Fernando Torres. Uh, 50 50. Uh, Fernando Torres. Hey. So, I'm gonna go Torres. Who? I think it's Massa D. I'll go Massa. Uh, I'll just say Torres. Well, I'm definitely using a lifeline for this. See, now my instinct says to go uh, Fernando Torres, but. I haven't heard much about Pedro, so I think that's him because I know nothing about football. Let's go with Pedro, fuck it. Three of you used your first lifeline for this question, but it only paid off for Vlad. Well done for getting your first point of the round, albeit a half. Ah! No, no, no. Uh, oh, this is right. Question number four. Which Premier League footballer's ex is currently on ITV2 every night on Love Island All Stars? Is it A. Jack Grealish? B. Ivan Tony? C. Deli Alley? Or D. Ruben Diaz? Fucking hell, I have no idea. I think well, I think Eve's watching it as well. Um, I'll say Ivan Tony. We're going with Danny Alley there. I don't even watch it. But... I'm just gonna have to wing it, and I'm gonna go Ivan Tony. I've got a gut feeling that like the biggest playboys is Tony and Grealish for sure. Because <laughs> Walker is not in, so I like. I'll go with Jack Grealish because I like him. I like his. He's a party animal. I've seen him last year. Like he, you know, he looks like you know he goes out there and scores a lot. I don't have a fucking clue. Um... No, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess Dali Ali's axe because she probably needs the clout like he does. I'm gonna say Dali Ali. Oh wait, because Ruben Diaz was wasn't she he he's dating someone from Love Island, right? I'm going to Ruben Diaz. Oh, Ruben uh, uh, Diaz. The answer was D, Ruben Diaz. Only Harps and Dan got that right, whilst the rest of you were too busy trying to convince me that you didn't watch the show. Oh my yes. god. Question number five. Which footballer scored the most FPL points ever back in 2010 when they scored 32 points? Was it A. Rooney, B. Lampard, C. Suarez, or D. Ronaldo? Ooh, can I go 50 50? Shit, I thought it was Lampard. Mmm, 2010. I think it's Suarez because he scored four goals in one game. C. If I'm. True to you know my guy, which I was just going with Ronaldo, but I don't remember him having like crazy hat tricks and assists. That's the thing. So maybe not him. Uh, I might have to go Suarez because he's a wild one. I'm gonna go Suarez. I'm not gonna use my 50 50 because I think it was Suarez. I don't think Ronaldo was there. I'm gonna say Rooney. 2010, then Suarez isn't in the mix. I'm gonna say Rooney. They go with Lifeline. We go with Rooney. The answer was A, Wayne Rooney. Three of you got that one right. Richard, Jared, and Jet. But Jared only scores half a point because he used his 50 50. What game was that for? Question number six. How many managers did Fudge insult when he rejoined the group chat earlier this season? Was it A, five, B, two, C, everyone, or D, four? I think I was one of the main targets of that. Absolutely the one of the main targets. Uh, but I think he said everyone is boring. I'll go with five. Uh, he definitely mentioned Will it? Richard. Everyone would make sense because he just insults everyone. All right, can I go 50-50? Ah, oh, it's D then, 4. <laughs> um, I don't use my lifeline because I honestly don't remember. I don't think he upset everyone. I'm going to go 4 people. Go 4. <laughs> I didn't even, you know, I didn't even see, I saw that he left, but I didn't see why he left. I was like, what's going on here? So I have no idea with this. So this is actually 50-50. I guess it's 4? Uh, I'll use a 50-50. 4. I'm gonna say D, four people. The answer was D, four. Jared and Jet didn't need the assist on that one, but Luke, Simon, Harps, and Dan each get half a point. <laughs>
<laughs> question seven. This is our final multiple choice question. Which football manager recently compared himself to Harry Potter? Was it A, Graham Potter? Was it B, Jose Mourinho? Was it C, Harry Redknapp? Or was it D, Jurgen Klopp? Compared themselves to Harry Potter? Hmm, hmm. I mean, it has to be Graham Potter, right? Yeah, it has to be, because the, the Potter name. I'm gonna say Klopp. D. I don't remember Klopp saying that. I'm just gonna go B. It's gotta be Mourinho, isn't it? Oh, and you know, the funny thing is, I remember seeing this one in the news. Ah, I think it's Mourinho. And I don't think Graham Potter would feed into the mix. Like, it just, it, again, it seems like low-hanging fruit. Fuck it, I'm gonna go 50-50. Oh, in that case, it's Mourinho. I am a coach, not Harry Potter. It was Mourinho, I read that. <laughs> the answer was B, Jose Mourinho. Well done to Luke, Simon, Rich, Jet and Vlad for getting that one right. Jet moves into first with four points. No! <laughs> now we're done with multiple choice, it's time to question eight. What was the name of the Arthur and the Invincibles song that was released last May when Coventry City got to the playoff final? Oh my god, I actually can't think of it right now. Sing a song for another day. Da, da, da. What is it called though? Is it called Sky Blue Forever? No one's gonna get this. <laughs> uh, is, is, is this something about Sky and something? Um, oh no, I don't know. <laughs> no. I would just go with, I don't know, we have the champions probably. <laughs> I'm going to just guess. Sky's the limit? The, the, the band name is Arthur and the Invincibles, isn't it? But that's not the name of the title. We all love the Yogan Club. Oh my god, I have no idea. Uh, I'm just hoping Sky Blues. Uh, Something like that. I don't know. I can't remember what the song's called. I know that you've got the tune in my head. All I hear is Carpenter. That I actually have no idea what that song. It's something. Uh, it's going to be something. The Sky Blues. I see. I see the Sky Blues or something like that. Hear that. Him for something new! Yes! Yes! <laughs> the answer was a hymn for something new. Jared, you were so close, but in the end, only Luke gets that answer right after singing the entire song. Yes! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Question 9 comes with a video, which I'm sending to you now. We want to know, how long does it take Bartlett to down a pint, and how many eggs does he smash with his head? I think that took him like nine and a bit seconds. And that was one egg that got cracked. <laughs> um, I think he takes around 10 seconds for the pint and one egg. Uh, nine seconds, six eggs. So it's eight seconds for the pint. Uh, he is a special kind of a person. How does he crack only one egg? Nine seconds for the pint, two cracked eggs. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say eight seconds for the pine and four eggs. Six point five seconds, four eggs. N nine seconds and one egg. We timed Bartlett's pint at eight seconds and he only managed to smash one egg with his head. Well done to Luke, Simon, Jet and Dan for getting one point in that question. Vlad is the only manager to get both questions right in that. Oh my god, really? So I was be one behind each one? Yes. <laughs> and now it's time for our final question. Question number 10. How many current Premier League stadiums can you name in 30 seconds? Uh, the Emirates, Stamford Bridge, Villa Park, the Etihad, Craven Cottage. Fuck, thinking of teams, thinking of teams. Old Trafford, Anfield, St James's Park. Uh, the Old Kenny, Kenneth Road, the Spurs Stadium, which doesn't have a full name. The Emirates, Goodison Park, Old Trafford, you got Stamford Bridge, the Etihad, 
Anfield, Goodison Park, Old Trafford, Etihad, Emirates, Stamford Bridge, Craven Cottage, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Olympic Stadium, GTEC Stadium, GTEC Arena. Old Trafford, Etihad, Goodison, Anfield, oh, St. James, Emirates, Stamford Bridge, Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, fucking am the London Stadium. Oh no, I've got Craven Cottage. Anfield, Emirates, Old Trafford, Etihad Stadium, Kenilworth Road, Goodison Park, no, West Ham Stadium, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Emirates, Villa Park, Stamford Bridge, Anfield, uh, Etihad, Old Trafford, Goodison Park, Spurs Stadium, Selhurst Park, Amex Stadium, Molyneux, Old Trafford, Etihad, Anfield, Goodison, Villa Park, Stamford Bridge, Emirates, what's this, is it Spurs Stadium? Oh, I'm shares this. Oh, fuck sake, I don't know. I, I think Etihad is one. Fuck, I am losing at this. No, because I, can, I can't think of the names. I go just one, just because it's the airline, that's it. Richard, Jared and Dan each managed to name an impressive 10 stadiums in 30 seconds, whereas Vlad only managed to name one. Now it's time for the results of the quarterfinal quiz. Coming in first, it's Jet with 14 points. Dan is a close second with 13.5 points. Luke, Richard and Jared each get 12.5 points, Simon gets 11.5 points, Harves gets 9.5 points, and Vlad is all the way at the bottom with 4.5 points. Now it's time to pair these teams up and find out our fixtures for the quarterfinal round. Match 1 is quiz winners Jets Champs against quiz losers Big Bads. Match 2 is Roger U Plonka against Duncan Donuts. Match 3 is Chew United against Mighty Psyducks, and Match 4 is Come On Just My Tip against High Ground Madrid. Thank you to all of the contestants for playing yet another quarterfinal quiz. I've been Andy, you've been wonderful. I'll see all of you winners in the semi-final. In this round, our quarterfinalists fuck.